Denuclearization is the focal point, of course, but there's more to cover during the summit, from economy, security to politics. Our Park Kijun zooms in on what more the two leaders will try to get out of their historic meeting. For weeks, it's been clear North Korea and the United States, or at least Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, wanted the summit to happen despite some hiccups along the way. They have their respective goals and will be doing their utmost to achieve them in Singapore. The Trump administration's ultimate goal is North Korea's CVID, the regime's complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization. President Trump initially demanded an all-in-one immediate package deal. The goal remains the same, but recently he's been tempering expectations about what can be achieved through one meeting, saying it will likely require a step-by-step -step approach. He's hinted several times that resolving the nuclear issue will not be a quick fix. And Washington is pushing to specify the method and timetable of Pyongyang's nuclear disarmament through the form of an agreement. What North Korea wants, however, is more complex. Pyongyang is demanding what many call CVIG, the complete, verifiable and irreversible guarantee of the regime's security. This concept can be seen from political, economic and military aspects. Politically, North Korea would have to be acknowledged as a normal nation, and Pyongyang would want to establish diplomatic ties with the U.S. and host each other's embassies. Economically, North Korea needs to scale down the level of international sanctions imposed on it, as the security of the regime requires a stable and robust economy. The North wants economic assistance as well, especially aid that will help it stand on its own feet. Finally, militarily, North Korea has been outspoken in wanting to avoid military threats. It's been highly critical of joint military exercises between South Korea and the U.S. To ensure there are no future threats, the regime will seek a declaration of the end of the Korean War and even further a peace treaty. The best scenario leading to a somewhat successful summit would be a fair exchange between the U.S. vision of CVID and North Korea's CVIG. There needs to be a fair balance between CVID and CVIG. The best result would involve North Korea agreeing to denuclearize within a short period of time. I don't think that will happen in Singapore, but nonetheless, the talks are greatly significant and will add momentum to the next possible round of talks. As President Trump has been saying, the Singapore summit is just the beginning and a process. More rounds of talks between the two leaders are expected before they reach a compromise. But nevertheless, the world will be watching how Tuesday's unprecedented historic event unfolds. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.